Dragon Ball Super has done such a good job in the last episode or so with playing up the tension in the series, but there's always going to be this one overarching looming threat in the background, and I'm not talking about Goku Black. What I'm talking about is Zeno, so I'm going to go ahead and talk about Zeno and his upcoming potential involvement within the arc. So before I get into this, no spoilers in this video, I'm not going to spoil too much, but if you guys haven't seen the episode somehow, go ahead and check out episode 56 online and uh, come back afterwards and we'll talk about it here and plug really quick I did a video not too long ago a week and a half ago where I talk about Zeno and whether or not he's actually too powerful and this video kind of plays off of that one a little bit so to get full context for this video you would want to go check that one out and listen to it I will link that in the description for you guys but basically the episode where Goku went and just played with Zeno basically was an episode that a lot of people kind of just really wrote off as maybe being like filler or just kind of being something that was self-contained, didn't really have much to do with the overarching plot, was going on with Goku Black and stuff like that, because they basically made it a point to say, hey, we are not going to tell Zeno as to what's going on over here, we're not going to talk about the time machine and all that, because it would just piss him off. And I understand that, right? But at the end of that interaction, Zeno gave Goku this button. Now, this button, okay, is... It is the reason for this video. It, is, it has the potential to be, you know, an amazing MacGuffin and not in a good way. He gave him this button that if Goku presses it, it will basically summon Zeno to his location. That is really, 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 really overpowered. Let me go ahead and set something to rest really quick. No matter how you feel about Zeno's character, his design, any of that, Zeno is the most powerful character in Dragon Ball that we know of. Okay, he's the most powerful one. That doesn't mean he's strong, he's a physical fighter, he probably has some sort of ability that can just eliminate people and stuff. And we've seen glimpses of him being savage in that episode where he, Goku went over there and he was like, oh, be quiet or I'm going to eliminate you. I was like, damn, bro. So no matter how you feel about his character, he is a threat. So him giving Goku this button, okay, and him seeming to be buddy-buddy with Goku, that is a scary thing for the tension of this show, because I don't think this will happen, right, I don't think this will happen, but say, for example, stuff gets so dire that Goku's like, I don't want to do this, but I have no choice, I still got this button in my pocket, let me go ahead and press it, you know, or maybe it's in his pocket and he falls on it, you know, something crazy like that, and it immediately summons Zeno to his location with Zamasu in black, you know, how will things play out from there if Zeno shows up and he's like, whoa, what is going on? Why are you all beat up, Goku? All these other different things. I don't know if Zeno would be the one to take sides because he's supposed to be this omnipotent being, basically, from our understanding. So I don't know if he'd be the one to take sides, but at the same time, I don't know if he would agree with what's going on with Zamasu and Black there in the future. Now, I want to kind of point out here that the button, we don't know if it would summon that Zeno to that timeline, we don't know. I don't think it would have anything to do with the future Zeno or the Zeno that would be in that future Trunks timeline already because he still has to be around. I don't know. I don't think it would have anything to do with him. And even if it did link up to that one, if Goku pressed it, it brought that one directly to their location, he wouldn't know who Goku is unless Dragon Ball Super is doing this thing where they're basically merging the timelines, which I really hope they aren't doing. But Otherwise, he wouldn't know who Goku is because it's a self-contained timeline that's a completely different version of Zeno. So, if it w if he did, by chance, press the button, it's linked to that one. No matter where he is in the universe or timeline, it'll bring him to Goku's location. That is a scary thought because he could basically say, Zamasu, goodbye, you're eliminated. Goku Black, Super Saiyan Pink, see ya, you're gone. Yeah, Super Saiyan Rose, excuse me, Rose. <laughs> so, like... That's a very interesting concept, you know, I don't know why this show would bring something like that in and not really use it. I'm hoping that they don't use it, though, uh, in relation to the tension of this arc, because it, it basically can kill it, because Xeno is the biggest cheat code possible. I mean, there are a lot of little MacGuffins and cheat codes in this show, like Dragon Balls, like Senzu Beans, and all that stuff, but you go to the future where they are basically bare of all these things, they don't have any of that stuff, so I don't think that they will, I will continue to say I don't think that they'll use that, I would be highly disappointed if they do, but it's still something that's there to kind of think about, it's food for thought. 
I don't think that they'll use it. I really, really, really don't. And I hope that they won't, you know, because things are looking dire. Once again, I'm not going to explain anything or spoil anything, but things are looking dire. So I don't know what the plans are for the future. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Nonetheless, I want to implore you guys to leave your thoughts in the comment section as to whether or not you think that button is going to play a big role in this arc, or whether you think it'll just be something that Goku uses when the arc is over. It was kind of self-contained in that one episode. It didn't really have much to do with this arc. And if Goku will kind of just press it whenever it's time to summon Zeno, that friend he promised him. So I want to know your thoughts in the description, or excuse me, in the comments. And the video I promised will be linked in the description will be in there. I highly recommend that you check it out. Subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I will catch you guys in the next video. <laughs> that is it for me, though. Peace out, guys.